everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Buzz's Garage. We're going to be covering today on step one, part one of the engine assembly. Gee! Well, uh, so you can see behind me here, we got the engine back, and you know, it's like, gee, what the f man? You couldn't get the f done right the first time, the crank was all out of whack. Mop machine, the, the five and six journal on the rods was 46 thousandths out of tolerance. The clearance on end play, gee! So of course, we are wiping down everything with acetone left, so when we slide these bearings on, um, everything's clean. We gotta wipe up some stuff and I'll show you, of course, how I'm doing it. All right, on this, uh, along with any other engine, you're going to have notches. You can see that notch there on the bearing? All right, bearing cap. Now, on the block itself, what you'll do is, is you'll match that, and we just match that and cover it from one end and just push down on that just like that until it's flush on both sides of course on our number three bearing we have a the thrust bearing okay so this uh, thrust plating on the sides um, for the crank moving back and forth it goes in the same way okay you're gonna push it in between there but you got the sides that have to be made it as well you push down on this just like that just like any other bearing and flush and of course push down and that's it just grab this crank carefully you want to line it up and Carefully set that down like that. Make sure ensure that all the bearings are down, flush. And then what we'll do is we'll put the caps on and the plastic gauge. So what we do is is we are going to cut pieces with scissors so we don't crush. And we will cut the plastic gauge. We're using green. So, and it has a little relief here. We open this up. The plastic gauge comes out. It's just a little piece of round plastic. And what we do is, is we set this on the top of the crank, just like that. Now, when you're setting this up, you have the notch here, and the notch is on this side. The notches are on this side, so you want to make sure that the caps go on the right way. So I set this on like this, and you just have to tap slightly, not too hard, to mount the cap, or set the cap. But just like that. You don't want to do it too much because it will possibly crush the plastic gauge. So we repeat that with the continuing journals and we will set all these and get the proper plastic gauge measurements from there where we are. Again, find it up, center it as possible, and like that. Now what we do is, is we'll just make sure that the bolts thread in and that'll line the cap exactly where it's supposed to be. These fit in. Now these are for a windage tray. So they go on both the second and the fourth caps. And we can see that these thread thread down. So these are the right one. That's the, the one that's the right way. We can see that this is 
set properly because they thread down. Now we'll continue to do the plastic gauge and we'll do the whole crank at once, torquing it in, in specifically the way it's supposed to be. Now once all these caps are in place, we gotta make, be careful not to turn the crank at all. Do not touch the crank, okay? Because that'll screw up the plastic gauge. So at the rear, what we wanna do is start off and get it down, just tight a little bit. 30 pounds I start off. And we continue to move this, torque all these down, 50 pounds. Seventy foot pounds. People everywhere. The way they come their hair makes me Now the final torque is gonna be ninety foot pounds. It's a wonderful place. It's a wonderful place. For you. For you. For you. Now what we do is this we start to loosen up. Yeah. These bolts, without moving the crank, and I like to start in the center. We reverse this, and we will just a little bit, and we get these totally undone, and we will check the plastic gauge. Cut. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these caps off, and we're gonna see where we are with this plastic gauge. So just lightly tap, okay? And you can see where the where the uh, plastic gauge is left on the crank. With the thrust bearing too. Now we'll see where we're at. We should be between two and three thousandths. We can see the mark uh, tagged in blue is a three thousandths. It's a little bit larger than that. And we're at about two thousandths. A little bit wider than three thousandths. About two thousandths there. Between two and three thousandths gap, we're ha we're getting with this plastic gauge on the crank. So that's pretty good. So what we'll do is is we'll pull off every cap, the rest of the cap, we'll pull out the crank, clean everything up, and then we will finally install it. Yeah. 